Okay. So, from the deep south. <laughs> we have Whistling Willie Jago and Blind Jimmy Jordan. Thank you very much. Good evening. Good evening, Tavistock. Are you ready to roll, dear oh dear? Well, have a Good evening. We're, I'm, I'm um, Whistling Willie Jago. People often say to me, Whist, they say, Whist, where did you get your name? And I show them. And they never ask me again. <laughs> But tonight we're going to do some Tamar Delta Blues tonight. Um, um, this is my son. Well, I say son. Um, we actually got thrown off the Jeremy Carl show at the commercial break before the results of the DNA test. But his mother swears that he's mine. So he's, uh, this is blind Jimmy Doorknob. Uh, those of you who will look him will realize he isn't actually blind. But we thought, needs glasses for reading. Jimmy didn't have that ring to it. So, And the doorknob bit is a bit of a mystery. But evidently there are some x-ray photos of Derryford that would explain it. Okay, now, so people often say to me, how can it be the Tamar Delta Blues? I mean, the, the, the blues come from the Mississippi Delta. No, no, no. Not originally. They came many, many centuries ago. My ancestors worked as turnip croppers on the huge turnip estates of Lord Ginster in the Tamar Valley. Okay, and then we had the great Tamar blight, the great turnip blight, and unfortunately we all had to emigrate, all my family emigrated, and they emigrated over to the States, which was just the time when the slaves were being emancipated. And they were on the estates, and my ancestors went over there and they helped out on these little sharecroppers' uh, farms. And up to that stage they'd been singing uh, spirituals, which are quite happy songs, but no one could be quite as miserable as a Cornishman. So we brought our own music over, and that was the Tamar Delta Blues, uh, which the uh, Americans picked up and sent back to us. Uh, but uh, this is the real thing. So we're going to sing for you tonight a few little Tamar Delta Blues songs. Here's one. This is about my woman, uh, because you have to have a woman when you're a blues singer. And this is a sweaty Betty Blues. Do you think the glasses look cool? Do you think the glasses look cool? Can I take them off now? Because I can't read the bloody words. That's better. There we go. On the rainy streets of Stonehouse, where the Tamar meets the sea, there's a woman in a million. She's waiting there for me while she wears baggy jogger bottoms, a dirty damn vest. She got a heart of gold, a quite stupendous chest. Every move that she makes and makes her wobble and perspire And they call her Sweaty Betty She sets my heart on fire Sweaty Betty, Sweaty Betty I must be all the 20 stone I swear it Betty, swear it Betty Just can't leave that girl alone down the road the way she kind of waddles because she's pit and told I love to follow her around littles and watch her from the back and watch her buttocks move like midgets fighting in a sack I love the way she wobbles the way she swings her hips I love the full mustache that grows upon her upper lip I swear it Betty sweat it Betty must be all a twenty stone. I swear it, Betty, swear it, Betty. Just can't leave that girl alone. Play it, boy. For the evening, she's 
smelling like a rose. She straps her back just to her back. She says she's someone that she knows. I know that she ain't faithful. And she sees other men. There's enough of her to go round. She's big enough for ten. I know she ain't faithful. Well, let me call her yo yo knickers. I don't give a damn. Sweaty Betty, sweaty Betty. I must be on the twenty stone. A sweaty Betty, sweaty Betty. Just can't leave that girl alone. Thank you. I admire your determination. You see, when I grew up, other places they had sex and drugs and rock and roll. We had sheep and scrumpy and folk music.